What's up, guys? Today's video is going to be really quick. It's just going to be, you know, me teaching you how to regrip your golf clubs. It's uh, it's super easy. All you really need is to buy a little kit. I think I bought this off of Amazon for like 10 bucks. It brings a little knife to cut up your old grips. It brings this little solvent that's going to help the double-sided tape stick to your grip. And then, uh, and then it brings like strips of double-sided tape. Yeah, let's just get started. I'm going to teach you guys kind of my little trick that I do to, to make sure that I'm lining up the grip correctly. Strategy here is, and I know you can't see the club face, but, but you're going to just like let the club hang and you're going to balance it with your finger. And just, you kind of want to make sure that whatever, however it was gripped before is, is pretty darn close. And this one looks almost perfect because this is going to help you when you're, when you're pushing in the grip. So I just track it down and this, and the marker will come off with the solvent. So it's a really easy cleanup, but yeah, so I like to trace it down and just create a little line. So that will help us when we're pushing in the grip to make sure that we're pushing it in, lined up to our club face. Guys, really quickly, I don't think I was super clear on what I wanted you to do. So pretty much just make sure you put the club face on the ground uh, and then you balance it with your fingertip. And what this is gonna allow you to do is to make sure that the alignment line that's on your grip matches up with your club face. And if it is, you're good to go and go ahead and trace over that. Otherwise, just make sure you just make a new line. So drop a like for that tip and let's just hop back into the video. The next step is to cut up the grip. But yeah, so you can really just grab any part of it. I don't really care. And then you just cut away from your body. Do it slowly and carefully. Don't worry. That's pretty good right there. So you can tell, like, so I've been doing kind of crappy grips. I regripped some, like, stocked grips just now. And there's, you can tell, like, the quality of golf pride compared to to those grips it's just a different it's a different world this is kind of the most annoying part oh look it looks like so this grip was uh double wrapped which makes it extra annoying so we're just trying to find where it starts the slower you do this the easier it's going to be in the long run There we go. So now what I like to do, so I lay it on a counter. Like I said, I don't have a vise. If you have a vise, you can just vise it up real nice. You don't have that kind of luxury here. So um, we're gonna put it kind of over. I do it obviously on a kitchen island. You can do it on a table, it doesn't really matter. But just kind of like let it hang over space. And now let's look to see where our mark is. So our mark is right there. Let's grab our new tape that we're gonna use and our new grip. So we'll just go ahead and take this one out. Hang it over about a quarter of an inch. See about right there. Let's get this fold all the way through really nicely. Just like that. And then start from the bottom to the top, from center to the outside of the tape, like that. Perfect. And then I like removing this guy because the other side's going to overlap it. Move this side, which obviously will make it sticky. Got to be aware of it. And now we're going to do the same thing on this side, and this side's going to overlap. like that. Now let's take off like I said you just kind of crumble this guy and stick it inside the shaft like that. And now we're ready for a grip. This is the messiest part of the whole operation. I know that my mark is right here so I want to be putting my golf pride. I like putting the golf pride uh, facing towards the head, but a lot of people like doing it the other way. That's your alignment for me at least. So I just like doing it that way. So I know my marks right here. That's really what we're aiming for. First, we got to put the solvent in the grip. So cover up the hole that's at the bottom of the grip. And then I, I have this little spray bottle. I don't know if they all come with spray bottles, but just kind of spray it all over in there. The more solvent, the better. It helps you slide it in. If you're not sure if you have enough, just add a little bit more. 
down and go back and forth, back and forth. Shake it up, shake it up. And then we're going to go over this guy and let it catch as much. Should be pretty good. Um, I'm, I like spraying it just a few more times. Don't think you need to, but so yeah. So I know my mark is right here. I'm trying to get this lined up with that mark. Pinch it a little bit. I'm going from one side. And there you go. And now you just start pushing. So of course this is rubber. So it's going to expand when you apply force laterally that way. So you just got to make sure like right here, we still have two inches of space. So we got to make sure that we push it in all the way. there. That's pretty perfect right there. So, sorry neighbors, just kind of push it down a little bit. Uh, all I really care about is making sure that I'm lined up on both sides. It's so obviously as you twist and turn, sometimes your back is going to be a little bit um, further right or left than your original mark. So this one, I'm going to get it lined up. And then there's like lines across. Kind of want to get those as straight as possible. This one looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty, pretty good right there. There you guys have it. So yeah, now you just clean off the excess solvent. Take off the little mark. It should come off right with your solvent. And that's pretty much it. I think you can play after like 10 minutes or something. I like letting them dry overnight. There you guys have it. Hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a really quick video. I haven't had much time to go out there and play. I got pretty sick and traveling for the holidays. Got stuck in Chicago for a little bit. Quick little update. I mean, I, I think my, I had probably the best rain session I've had in like a month and a half yesterday. And I think I finally figured out what I had been doing wrong for about a month. And I was just hitting hitting balls just so, so nice and square and just making really good contact. But we'll see. I mean, we got, we'll take it out on the course on Sunday morning. We'll play 18 holes. I'll be recording some of that. So you'll, you'll get to see some of that gameplay. Hopefully it goes well. It's a course that I'm really familiar with and I really, really like. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah, follow along the journey. Subscribe. This is Earn.Golf. We love you. Take care. Bye-bye.